Hey everyone, Dan here. Today, I'll give you the tools to solve any problem with the formula column. Let's get started. Say you're tracking vacation requests and need to calculate workdays between dates. You can save time and effort with a simple formula. To start, add the formula column to your board here. It's worth noting that the formula column is only available to pro and enterprise users. Thanks to this extensive list of functions, our formula column gives you the power to calculate just about anything. For instance, to calculate workdays, we have a handy workday function. As you can see, each function provides a brief description and an example of how to use it. After adding the function, we'll scroll back up and add our end date column and start date column, separated by a comma. Finally, Add a closing parenthesis to complete the function and click set. Now, as start and end dates are filled in, we'll see the number of workdays instantaneously with no additional effort. When I say this is only the tip of the iceberg, I mean it. Within our knowledge base, you'll find a list of all available formulas as well as popular use cases. Let's take a look at a few of my favorites. Here, we're tracking commissions with five different rates. Thanks to the if function, we can create a series of if-then statements to accurately calculate commission. For instance, if our status column equals rate one, multiply total sales by 25%. Now, you can dynamically update commissions with a simple status change. Not bad, right? What if you bill by the hour in this case, we can multiply our hourly rate by the value in the time tracking column to calculate the invoice amount as we go. By adding a simple round function, we'll ensure that our output is rounded to the nearest cent. Not too shabby. Before we go, I wanted to share a few more helpful tips. First, for an extensive list of our favorite formulas, check out our Formula Use Cases article. Save time and effort by copying and pasting these formulas into your board. Just make sure you change the column names in each bracket to match the columns on your board. Speaking of column names, whether pasting an existing formula or building them from scratch, be sure the columns you're referencing are entered exactly as they appear on your board. Finally, don't forget to close your statements with parentheses. Each statement must include opening and closing parentheses. If you run into trouble, ensure you've closed each statement properly. That's it for now. Click here for more on formulas and all things Monday.com.